Meredith Whitney is here. She is speaking with Tom Keen and Ken Pruitt. We take you into the radio booth right now. In emerging markets to offset the contraction that's going on in Europe and the U.S. What scope and scale of layoffs do you see for Wall Street? We saw 20 prop traders at Bank of America yesterday. Are we going to see 3,000 people here, 2,000 people here, big or little? I think they're starting off little. Then you will see uh, very weak compensation year-end, year-end bonuses that disappoint dramatically. And after that, the next iteration is just full-scale layoffs. And we think to the tune of 80,000 over the next 18 80, months. 80,000 globally? No, 80,000 U.S. You're killing me. What, well, what happened, Meredith? You know, it looked like everything was kind of calming down and things were getting back to normal. Let me rephrase that. Everybody said Meredith Whitney was wrong. Okay. Okay. We'll that's rephrase what, it that that's way. That's what happened. I'm used to that. And then, you see, you yeah. know, you, you're, it's a little bit more on the Meredith Whitney meter now with the way we've slowed down, right? It can change on a daily basis. But, yeah. you know, I break things down in very simple forms, component parts. And the idea that I, I saw was, you know, you had a 2008 where um, everything bad happened, but most importantly, you had mark to market, which required you to write down the value of your securities. That rule was changed by FASB in March of uh, 2009. So what happened in 2009 was it wasn't real profits for Wall Street. It was just reversing those write-downs. So those write-downs were written right back up. You also have the government purchasing plans that actually accelerated that in terms of risky asset prices went through the roof. So these are paper gains. Um, a lot of the gains for Wall Street players were also re-equitizing themselves. So for the top seven banks in the U.S. that all had to recapitalize, 40 plus percent of their equity volumes came from doing their own deal. So it wasn't yeah. really core oh. structural, momentous um, earnings power. And then 2010, when- Plus assisted by a yield curve. Well, it's they got a lot of help from the a, government. It's about the it's about the yield curve, but it's also about if you have a known active buyer, for example, a buyer of agency MBS paper like the Fed did um, from November nine uh, two thousand. Uh, uh, nine to you know even recently you saw the uh, sorry from two, two, sorry from November 2008 to um, to you know the end of 2010 you saw the uh, uh, MBS uh, agency paper go from 97. Okay, to so that is Meredith yeah. Whitney.